Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Storm Shadow by Mezco. Now, I have been waiting for this one, how I've been waiting for all of them. But we knew this one was coming in. I haven't seen any of the reviews yet. I have seen how he looks outside um, taken out, but I haven't looked at any of the reviews. I'm looking so, ex I'm so forward and excited to this one. Anyway, there you go. That is the original artwork that we had. At least I believe it's the original artwork that we had. G.I. Joe at the time, it's in red, so you know that it's Cobra. Got the Cobra symbol here in red, and then we got it in black. And on the back, well, we have everything that he comes with. Extra face, well, two extra faces. You have the unmask, regular mask. We got the throwing stars, the swords, the bow and arrow, all kinds of stuff that we're going to get into. We'll also compare him to the G.I. Joe classified version. Uh, this is the retro one. Again, he's almost the exact same as the other. So we'll be able to compare him and we'll also compare him to the original O-Ring G.I. Joe Storm Shadow. Again, I'm really excited for this. So the big question is going to be not how he looks because we've kind of seen him already. If you see my other review, and I'll leave a link to it at the end of this, um, is how he really works with snake eyes. And I have not been happy with the snake eyes. He is too tall. He doesn't seem to fit right. But if this guy fits in with snake eyes, and I guess, can't say all is well, but it at least is a little bit better. Because that means that when we, comp when we pair them together, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing, they'll work together. So anyway, let's get into this guy. Let's get him open. Uh, just get him out of this plastic box, card, whatever it is, get them out and take a look at it. But before we do, if you like this type of content, if you like G.I. Joe stuff, and you know that I give you a lot of G.I. Joe stuff, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification, and you'll be notified every time I drop G.I. Joe, and there's always, always G.I. Joe stuff coming in. So let's take a look at it. All right, he is opened. Now, I'm not going to show you how everything comes out. You can go look at my Destro video. I show it there. I can tell you this. There's no crinkle, crinkle. Everything just falls out. All right? Um, and there's a lot of stuff. There is an awful lot of stuff. So, quickly, here are his throwing stars. And his little different, his, the knives that they throw and stuff. Now, this here does have a cover. If I wanted to put a cover over it. This stuff is all just going to fall right out. So you don't have to worry about popping anything out. Nothing's going to get bent from that. All right. So much stuff to get to. So you come to two extra heads. And every head comes, other than the one that he comes with, it comes wrapped up. All right, you took the one off. So quickly we'll take a look at this one. And this one definitely has some mean-looking eyes. He's definitely pretty angry. It looks like he's actually looking up. So, and that's me looking through the camera, but look at those eyes. It does look like he's looking up. Eyebrows look really good. And the thing about their heads is that the port that they use is a rubber grommet. So if it's a bigger head, let's say you want to pop this over here on this Storm Shadow, you can do it. Same with like... Roadblock, you can do his. So here is the other head where he's clearly looking straighter. Good pin on the eyebrows. Mask looks good. Is it the same mask? So it looks like it's the same mask. Eyebrows look different. This one looks more like what you got with uh, the card art. The way his eyebrows look and look kind of angry. This one, not so much. All right. So, we'll just take a look at all the hands that he has. Let's see here. He has two hands on him right now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen different hands. So, we have a, a two-knuckle strike one. We have a couple of these clawed hands, all right? You can either use them as weapons or you can make them climbing up stuff. 
here we have what looks like some sort of sword or maybe the psi hands. All right, real close together. I'm not sure what he has on him right now. He's got the fist hands on him right now. Well, I would say are the smoke bomb hands. Another hand that looks like it's to hold a sword. You have your karate chop hand. A smoke bomb where he's only holding one. So on this one here, he's holding three smoke bombs. This one he's holding just one. It is the same hand. We got his sneaking hands, what I would probably consider these, right? Like he's on the ground sneaking around. We have probably for maybe the bow. I'm not really sure exactly what that's for. <laughs> and then we have this hand. Same 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 hand. Now again, probably probably holds a throwing star. That makes actually that makes more sense than a sigh. So here we have his two sighs. They have a little bit of flex, but they are not soft. White paint around it. They're all silver, so it all matches with his outfit. We have his bow and arrow, well, his bow, and it actually does have an elastic string on it. Nice silver paint to it. No compound, which is perfectly fine because he didn't have the compound bow until... Uh, version two. Oh, that looks so good. Like, God, so good. Then we have his swords. So there's his long sword with some nice silver through it. Got your paint. Or actually, that's not silver. That's like a bronze, I think. Okay, silver at the end. I would assume that the plastic here Again, it is flexible, but it's not soft. And here we have his short sword. So if you remember the original one, that is what he had. A short sword and a long sword. Really, they were about the size of knives for what they ended up being. Again, just looks so, so good. I mean, the detail in this. And again, this is why this is a $100 figure compared to a $25 figure, which I am not complaining about at all. So here we have his sheath, and I'm not really sure what I'm missing here. I think it was supposed to be on, well, we'll figure this out later on. <laughs> we'll figure all this out, how it all goes on there. So, we got the long sword. Just gonna slide in just like that. Then we got the short sword. Again, this thing looks like you can actually see the sword as it's going through. So it's solid on this side. These slits are openings. So you can actually see where the sword is at. And they fit in nice and not going to fall out. Here we have his quiver. And the arrows do come out. Uh, to, I don't know if every single one of them comes out. Oh, maybe just that one. I think just that one. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. So there's one that comes out. All right, we'll take a look at it. Got some red paint right at the end. That looks awesome. Just that one comes out. So I think we got three removable arrows, which is more than enough, I think. Uh, yeah, so you got three removable arrows. I guess it's the three that you're going to see right there. Maybe. Oh, yeah. All right. 
again, bear with me if you're if you're new to the channel. This is how I like to do things. I want to show everyone, you know, what you're going to get. So you're going to get the arrows that go right through there. So it does look kind of weird because if you take one out here and you're looking at this, you're going to be like, wait a minute. Uh, why don't those arrows go down all the way? They slide right in. And, well, I guess... I guess they can be kind of loose. So be careful with these. They seem like they're going to be nice and tight, but... I mean, sometimes I guess you got to rotate them. So anyway, looking at that, it looks... Again, looks nice. Everything looks nice so far. Here we have these. I don't know what these are called. Someone in the chat or someone in the comments, please tell me what these are called. It'll probably be Matthew Matson that knows what it is. But that looks really good. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Today I haven't even got to the figure. Here's the second one. And then we have his nunchucks. Which, for some odd reason, Hasbro has not decided to give him any nunchucks. And look at the handles on that. Got a nice little chain on it. it spins around. This is sharp. This is awesome. All right. And then we have his, him throwing three throwing stars, throw Chinese stars. I don't want to offend anyone, but that's what we used to call them. Here's three different style ones, a little further out. And there's his smoke bomb, so pretty, pretty sweet. Now, I will say this, when I dump everything out, again, if you've never had a Mezco, this stuff is just going to fall right out. So I always say dumping one right into the tray so I don't have to worry about it bouncing all over and then getting lost to the carpet monster or whatever monster you want to call it. Right. So every Mezco comes with a stand. Here is your stand. There's a peg right here. Okay. They do use a different size peg, so you're not going to be able to use just a regular stand. Let's say like the classified. You can see that it's thicker. This also can be punched out. And then you have a flight stand or a jumping stand, anything like that. And then every Mezco comes with a bag, so you can put all your accessories in it that you're not using rather than try and box it back up because that's just kind of a pain. So now let's take a look at our Storm Shadow, our Tommy Arashikagi. And again, if you have not had a Mezco, they are a different animal. So let's quickly we're going to take a look at the articulation all right turn his head side to side yeah he can kind of look down kind of look up such smooth joints look at that way more than any t-pose that you're going to get in any uh other style action figure that i've had there you have your bicep swivel uh, he has some sort of a butterfly, but I'm not sure how well that works. Double pinless joints that are just smooth as butter. Like, honestly, like, smooth as butter. His waist articulation. I don't believe that he has a... I'm not sure what they use. Um... Okay, so I'm feeling underneath. So he has the same type of style that Valibers has, that Serpentor has. That's the type of waist that he has. He can bend over. Oof. You got to be careful with these Dijon Claude or you might rip the, the pants. I'll probably end up taking the knee pads off. They should be removable. But he doesn't get the greatest Jean Claude Van Damme. Double knee, uh, double, double, I don't know if they're pinless. Double knee joints, which is what we'll call them, right? He has, 
don't know if he has a thigh swivel. It's not a thigh swivel, but there is a swivel that is up at the top of the up at the joint. So that is extremely odd. I don't think he has. Okay, so he does. Okay, he has a, a boot cut. And again, I could go through this. I could figure this out on my own and then show you. But I want you to see what you're getting when you open a Mezco. All right, and then you have your ankle rockers. All right. So how well can we stand them really quickly? I mean, he stands nice and easy. So let's take a look at everything that he's coming with or what comes on them so there is the face sculpt and that thing looks that looks pretty damn good all right <laughs> uh, i don't know how much i'm going to keep the face on him as you can see that it runs all the way up like this now the hood here you can get it to go up and it is wired here right it is wired so it kind of looks like a boxer if you're only looking from the top but we can pull this down no problem all right his eyes look nice, nice eyebrows, hair is good, but we're going to pop this off because you know what I need. So if we look at this one here, I do believe that is supposed to be the mask for the actual figure that we get uh, with the artwork. Is that the right one? Because it kind of looks like he's looking up. Yeah, so... We're going to go with this one here. And throw the hood up if we want. So there we go. We've got the cobra symbol right here. Here we have his bandolier or whatever's going to hold on his backpack or his swords. You can see exactly how that's just going to punch right in there. So, we want to get this on here. There's the two holes for it. That sounded awful. <laughs> and then it just kind of pops right on like that. And now, so okay, so you can have it like this. Or you add... that on so now you have his original backpack if you want all right so he has some gauntlets here it's gray black on it same throw over on this side he has i'm assuming this is for his nunchucks i could be completely wrong we're going to find out real soon but we can take this off if we don't want it if you want to do a classic storm shadow the knee pads, which have elastic on it, we can remove them. I believe they're the same knee pads that come with uh, Roadblock that I don't use, or at least they're very similar. They use the same concept. And then you have your boots down here. And he has the shin guards, and everyone remembers the shin guards on the classified, and everyone absolutely loves those shin guards. All right, so we're going to push this down because he didn't have this on the original. Or at least we didn't see a hood. All right. Now, the one thing that I'm going to say about this figure, and you got to be careful, is that all soft goods. Snake Eyes, soft goods. He's black. Destro, black and red. Roadblock, like a mustard orange and camouflage. He's white. You have to be very careful with him because that white's not going to take long for that to get real dirty. So let's throw on some hands. So here's how the medical will come out. Small little tiny joint there. Super easy. The hand is soft. The joint is hard. God, I can't believe I just said that. So we need to find where are the hands All right, and there's some tiny hands. I'm not really sure what's supposed to hold. I'm assuming that I guess holds the sword. I mean, 
there's not a lot to hold that thing on there. So pull the sword off here. All right, well, that fits in pretty nicely. And then we drop it. And it never fails. But hey, while you're here, take a second. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. That is if you like the content that I'm giving you. But hey, you've stayed this long, so I'm assuming you must enjoy something. Ooh. All right. So we're going to take the nunchucks. And like I said, I do believe... They just slot right in here. Or maybe not. Okay, there we go. So the nunchucks just slot right in there. Now this thing is going to fall the same way as Destro's. Probably my biggest gripe on Destro that this thing keeps falling down. It's going to happen here too. I don't know where this is supposed to go. <laughs> on the original, we were able to pin it onto his back. Can't really do it here. The original the nunchucks went inside so i really don't like these fists but i'm sure we'll do them we'll use them for something later on right so let's grab this here I'm gonna throw another sword on him this things did go on there pretty easily so we can make and i say so too much so we can kind of recreate the original shot if you want Grab one of the size. Let's see how the side looks. Let's look at that. If it's nice and easy, no problem. I have a feeling this backpack is going to fall off a lot. Now, let me explain something to you. If you don't know, Mezco, you're talking about 100 bucks for a figure. These are not meant, and I do mean this, these things are not meant for kids to play with. All right, so do not buy this for your kid and think that it's coming back not broken. So here is our bow and arrow. Handles right here. Oh, it, oh, look at that. It collapses. Look at that. That's a happy accident. So the bow and arrow collapses, which means it's supposed to go somewhere on the backpack or on his person somewhere. I guess we'll figure that out later. <laughs> you know what I didn't look at? His belt. I'm sorry, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place. His belt has the nice little pouches there. Buckle. Again, this thing is, is really, really nice looking. And this does have a... Hmm... Okay, so it does kind of lock into place. Okay, I'm not even sure. All right, so. You know what? There was some small instructions I probably should have quickly looked at. So there's your nunchuck holster. Your size go. Or I don't know what they're called. Size, whatever they're called. Um. Your bow quiver, short, your sh sword sheath, bow quiver. All right. <laughs> okay. Shurikens can be stored in the harness. Wow, I got to take my glasses off. Not that you guys can see me do this anyway. But we didn't even get to any of these things yet. That is how much we got to go through. But take this here. And pop on like so. Wow. See, this is one of the things I... You normally, you don't have to think about having too many um, instructions. So I really wasn't thinking about it. But look at that. So those things go on just like that. I was trying to place the bow when I saw that it collapses. So, the way the bow is going to go, you pull it out just a bit, and then it collapses. You bring it in, you kind of push it in, and then it stays. And you pull it out just a little bit, it collapses. So, you're not going to have to worry about it collapsing when it's like this, as long as 
you lock it into place. All right. So a lot of times when it comes to these types of hands, just take them off first. Then place the weapon in it. And maybe you lose it. <laughs> oh, no glasses. I can't see where I'm at. All right, so this is going extremely well. But let's give it a second. And then I'll go find it. All right, so I got this back. Again, this figure here, this type of figure, again, it is made for display. It is made to do pictures. Man, am I struggling to get this hand in here. So sometimes when you pay a lot for something, understand there's a lot that it just takes time. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It takes time. So here we go. I'm sure someone will jump in and go, I've never had a problem. Mine's never taken this long. Well, again, it takes me a little bit longer, and I'm okay with that. So here, we're going to have his, I'm going to believe it can also be his nunchuck, or his throwing star hand, but it's for his bow and arrow, or for his arrow, right? So we finally got one that can actually hold the arrow properly. The bow and the arrow. Now, can he cross over enough? Uh, that's a whole other story. So we're going to have to we have to play around with this a little bit to get a good shot. There's no doubt about that. Um, but again, this is what I'm trying to show you guys. Like, not everything is going to be perfect. Everything is, you know, some things are going to take a little bit of time. So, this thing here, it is made so you can wrap that, that finger, or not that finger, the elastic part right there. Look at that. And, I mean, this thing looks awesome. But, I don't know if he can really cross over nearly as much as I want it to. This is going to take time to pose. Alright? So, as you can see, that doesn't look great. Got to work on it a little bit. So, I will do that later on. So, they kind of got him in a, in a shooting pose. Arrow's good. So, alright. Let's pop this off. Again, thank you for sticking around because... All of this takes time. So, let's grab one of these hands. And now this is what I was gonna show you, what I was talking about. So you'll just watch as all of this stuff just kind of falls right out as you tap it. But, it's actually, it's actually sticking um, from, <laughs> this stuff is actually sticking from uh, friction, not friction, uh, whatever it's called, I can't think of it. This is what happens when you're doing stuff and you don't do edits. Static electricity. I know someone right, I know someone's been watching it and going, oh my God, it's static electricity. Yes, static electricity is literally holding this thing onto here, which is crazy. Um, all these little things. Nothing else did that, probably because they're so small. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull this thing up here. Throwing star should fit right into his hand. Oh, look, I didn't lose that one. Man, oh, man. I know what you're saying. I cannot believe I'm sitting here watching you do all this. Well, thank you. I appreciate you guys for sticking around because you guys are pretty amazing. All right. So there we got the throwing star in his hand. He's going to have two different hands like this. Again, I could cut a lot of this out, but this is giving you first hand of what you're going to be dealing with if you get this figure. And that's what I want you to see. That's what I want. That's the 
That is what I want you to get when it comes to this. So, all right. So these hands are supposed to be like he's throwing stuff. And I'm not really sure how they made it like that. So he's supposed to have these throwing hands, which I said were probably for him climbing on the ground and stuff. But they're meant to be throwing. So, if we pop this off. Ooh, okay. So, all right. So, this here is for... this hand <laughs> I told you there's so much stuff like you don't even know what you're grabbing all right so this hand here goes on like this he's supposed to be throwing it it looks like it's supposed to go around the pinky or the middle finger again why would you do this okay maybe it doesn't again we are all learning together because I don't know where else that thing would be coming off of. Again, I also don't understand why it'd be coming off his pinky. You know, looking at that, they make it look like it's supposed to be. Throwing FX tension fits to open hand as illustrated above. Okay. So all the explosions around it there is what you use to pop that in there. See? I'm not an expert at this. Not that any of you thought I was. So there we go. And the tension just holds that on. So get ready to lose that. If you're, <laughs> if you're gonna be keeping that like that, you're definitely gonna be losing this. Wish I had some tension to keep that thing up. All right, so there's that. This goes on the sword. That is what they were showing. That it is supposed to be ricocheting off of the sword. You know, some of these things you do go, hey, maybe it would be best if I didn't uh, do it in one take, but hey. That's how I like to do things, and that's what we're doing right now. I think I might have to come back to this because even I can't stand to look at this for too long. And so, so then we get this one here, and I'm assuming it's the same thing. Some sort of tension. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, guys, that I've kept you guys this long to, to watch this. <laughs> But it said that's what the open hand is for. That hand. Which, yeah. Okay. So, there we go. I gotta stop this for a minute. <laughs> Alright, so, we're back. This is how this is supposed to go for this, right? Um, it literally just, again, it just kind of puts on there with tension it, it it there's not a lot it's going to be easy for this thing to get knocked off and get knocked around now i'm wondering if the snake eyes comes with these throwing stars i do believe it's the same throwing stars or some of the th same throwing stars that he comes with that i can use um where he's throwing it all right i apologize for this guys Thank you guys for bearing this long. Uh, this may be the worst review I've ever done. Or the longest. Uh, again, you're learning as I do. And when it comes to all these little things, this is what people don't realize that they're getting with a Mezco. Uh, and I want you to understand what it is. There it is. What it is that you're getting. What you're working with. Everything that you're going to get. And the figure looks amazing. It's a lot of posing. There is a lot to do. 
All right. So let's get this thing back. And let's just take a look at him and compare him to the... We're going to work with him with Snake Eyes, the Mezco Snake Eyes. We're going to take a look at him, compare him to the original and the uh, classified Snake Eyes, or Storm Shadow that he came with. All right, so quickly, there we go. Now we can obviously take off the nunchuck holder. We can take off the knee pads. Oh, there's so much stuff to, to look at here. So many of these shurikens or whatever they are. These little throwing knives. Snake eyes came with them. Same with the throwing stars. Snake eyes came with them. These really tiny ones, snake eyes did not come with. And I apologize for my hands, guys. I work. Shocker, right? All right, so let's get this in here. I think I just dropped one of the shurikens. <laughs> There's no way that <laughs> keeping all of those. <laughs> all right. So first, let's bring up Classified Snake. Er, classified Storm Shadow, and right away, he's bigger. I wouldn't say he's on a beefier buck, because he's actually not nearly as beefy as him, but he is much taller Ken, I don't understand that. Now, the one thing someone is going to point out, Matthew Matson, is that the the quiver and sheath are on the right side. What I mean by that is, here's the original. Quiver is over here. Swords are over there. All right? You can't hold the... Uh, nunchuck inside of it, but that's fine. It's down there, and there's nowhere to really put his bow and arrow, or his bow, shall I say. All right. They give him different uh, gauntlets here. These are just padding. Same with over here. We can put the throwing stars up inside of here, so we're going to do that in a minute once I can get a chance to do it. This is a belt rather than like a more of a karate style belt and obviously on the pants being very white they give him knee pads uh and a little bit different so he so he does veer away from the actual original where this guy here let's see if we pop his head off how big is this head so it's a, the white's a little different. It has more of that art, artwork look, but you can throw this head on him and it's, I don't think it looks, I think I'd rather just have the regular classified head. 100% honest. All right. So, let's grab our snake eyes and see how they compare so snake eyes comparison they are in for the love of god so they are in scale together all right these two are in scale together <laughs> it actually looks like tommy is a little bit taller which leaves us with I can't believe that I don't know how they I don't know how they messed this up now this is going to be a huge complaint roadblock is on a smaller buck all right he's a little bit shorter and then we have Destro here who is also a slightly bit shorter. I've always looked at Roadblock as being one of the bigger Joes. I've always looked at Destro being one of the bigger Cobras. These two should not be this big. They should be a little bit smaller. They should be more in line with the classified. I think that would have been great. But the one thing that we do have is that these two here are in scale with each other. So if we get them fighting, it's going to be great. 
one's not going to look smaller than the other. Where if I try and make these two fight, well, Tommy is tiny. I mean, he looks like a kid. He's probably Billy size at this point. And then if I took, let's say, this snake eyes and put him up against him. Now he's crouched down a little. He's way bigger. Anyway, that's it. I don't know what else to say. Oh, yeah, we were going to put those little things on him. Because these guys are just falling. This is one of the most awkward reviews that I have ever done. Again, I do apologize. So these pieces are just going to slide right in there. The shurikens there. That's what these little tiny ones are for. And there's a reason why they give you extra. So you have the throwing stars there. He didn't have throwing stars. He has them down here. He almost looks like he's going to be naked without them. So they give you extra. I'm assuming because they know these are going to get lost. But what is cool about them is they're silver. So they actually give a little bit of accent to it. And I think I dropped one. It's going to be a lot of fun to try and find. Now that looks like he might end up poking himself. <laughs> but there you go. Like this is. He looks amazing. He really does. I worry about how dirty he's going to get. But I don't even know what else. Oh you know I didn't show him with the. I hate this thing. That thing's going to drive me nuts. Uh, let's take this off here. See, one of these already popped off. So, you're going to do shots with them. Take these off. You're going to lose them. You're going to be aggravated that you spent this much money. And you've already started losing things. You got some nice nunchucks. And... They're a good, decent size. But this is what you... I mean, this is what you do... This is what you get with the Mezco. A lot of stuff. A lot of time posing this. You're not going to just get them into great poses right away. The hands fall off fairly easy, but they pop back on because of the softness of them. Again, thank you guys for bearing with me because I know this video is extremely long. All right. So let's wrap it up and do a few shots with them. All right, so my final first thought on this figure is he might be the most frustrating figure that I have ever had. Uh, when it comes to action figures, no, I don't think he's bad. I think he looks amazing. Maybe the best looking Storm Shadow we've ever had. But stuff keeps falling off. The hands pop off. The backpack falls off. It is very frustrating, but it looks amazing. I can't say that I wouldn't buy it again because I think it looks awesome. But my problem is that things fall off. And this is a Mezco thing. This is something you're not going to take outside, in my opinion, and do shots. You're going to pose them with snake eyes. You might do some other stuff like that. But all in all, looks amazing, but very, very frustrating. And hey... It's your decision. Pick them up if you want. I'm not going to tell you not to. I do like the way that it looks. I contradicted myself. All right, so that is my review of the Mezco G.I. Joe Storm Shadow. This may be the most frustrating figure I've ever tried to pose. Everything keeps falling off of him. His detail is amazing. His accessories that he comes with are awesome i can't complain about a damn thing of how he looks and everything that he comes with but to pose him and try and do it in a timely manner things are gonna fall off whether it be the throwing stars whether it be the hands whether it be the backpack whether it be this thing sliding down it is frustrating is it a good figure he may be the best looking storm shadow that I've ever seen done uh, from all all three all three heads but very frustrating very frustrating but again 
if you're going to be taking your time and you're posing it and that's how you want to keep it and you want him and snake eyes fighting once you get him in a good pose you're perfectly fine but there are parts little pieces that continue to fall off i've already lost one of the throwing stars on the ground somewhere because it it, it, it fell off the uh, bandolier so it, it's very frustrating uh, I, i'm not going to sit there and lie and act like he's not frustrating to pose be fun to pose yes is there so much to do with them? Yes. But again, is he that much better than a classified? Well, that's up to you to decide. I have absolutely no problem with this classified. I think this one looks awesome. He's a bit bigger, so he's not going to fit perfectly in with your, you know, with your G.I. Joes. Now, if you have him and Snake Eyes fighting and you have other Joes around or they're in a scene fighting... You're going to be fine because you're going to be doing a forced perspective. But all in all, it's your decision. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for bearing with me for as long as you have. I can't believe it took me this long. I didn't expect it. This is what I want you guys to see. How much time is it going to take to pose this figure, to set him up, to do the different things like that? Well, you guys got to see. Take a long. It took a long time. Other guys, they do wonderful things, they do wonderful reviews, they show them pose, but you're like, damn, how long did it take you? Well, let me tell you, I believe it's going to take you quite some time. And I feel like I spent a good amount of time doing reviews that I have a good idea of whether or not figures are easy to pose. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for sticking around. It's probably one of my longer videos. Again, mescals are going to take a lot of time because of a lot of stuff. I'm going to get out of here, which I've said like eight times now. But listen... If you're still here, take a second. Jump on Instagram if you're there. A Punk with Toys, you'll see two of them. Subscribe to both. Punks with Toys, that's the Facebook group base. Just once you join, you're a Punk with Toys. Last but not least, don't go anywhere. If you stayed this long, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. So you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video. Believe me, they normally don't take this long even though they're usually kind of long. Now, I'm going to get out of here, but don't go anywhere because you're going to wonder, hey, how's that Snake Eyes look with it? Well, he's right up here, and here's the other Mezcos that I reviewed. Take care.